Oh, I did not intend for this to go on this long. Anyway, more of this. And these are the platforms that it's impossible to jump off of until you hit the top, which is just awkward, as I said. I think the problem is because as it goes up, you can see you're actually embedded in the platform just slightly, which is just weird and causes problems. It should just always, you should always be above the platform, you should always be able to jump. This is just weird when you can't. And this is also a situation where that falling off then jump move helps, which it helps in a lot of situations, and I really would have liked to know, have known that at the beginning. But it's never, you're never told how to do that in the game. You're never even told that that's possible. Also, why can I put this here? but not here. I know logically that you're not supposed to be able to kill Krakow Face so these go through, but there should be some visual indication rather than just the logical... You know, it makes logical sense, but there should be some visual representation as to where the bones will fall through the ground and where they won't. Another thing I wanted to note, this puzzle would be a lot trickier if you found some way to just quarantine Croco face while you're doing it. It's still easier than I would have expected. But you know, maybe it's not supposed to be the hardest puzzle in the world, but with Croco face you can cheat that with like I think you have to pre press just one button and then you're done. But you do have to actually get Croco face over here. I guess by accidentally pressing that button, I made it a bit more difficult, but really all you have to do is that. Go up here, press this button, and you're done. And that's just a bit too easy. Oh god. <laughs> what happened to Croco Face? Ow. So if I put Croco Face into the lava over... There you go. There, he falls in. But if you go just over here... He can stand here, even when the lava spout is down. He can just walk around here. There, It makes sense, once again, because he can get out. But there's no visual indication that that should be able to happen. Also, I find it annoying when Krakow Face is shot up by the lava spout. If you're standing on him, you just fall off, and you die. It, it shouldn't happen that way. You really should just stay on his head. That's at least the way I at least believe a user would interpret the situation. It's also weird that Krakow Face can somehow fall through these tiny pits that are about one-eighth his total width. He should just stay in place there. Remember when I was talking about scooching? This is another situation where you do need to scooch right around here. But you can't really scooch very well. When, when you just tap the button in Mega Man, you move about... In the original ones, you move literally one pixel. Ow. But in this game, when you need to scooch, you move... What is that, about 10 pixels? You move quite a bit for a scooching motion. It, I just think the minimum move distance could be a little teeny bit shorter. I think I mentioned before, but this this save point doesn't work, which is very annoying. I just wanted to note that just in playing this game right now, I'd kill Krakow Face five more times by moving him just too quickly so he fell into the lava. Ow. Even when I know that can happen, it just doesn't seem like it's going to. Like that. It just does not seem like it should happen. I like this puzzle, and I don't like this puzzle. It, It's a neat timing puzzle, but when you die, it's a little... Sometimes it can be a little hard to tell why you died, for one thing. Because if these are obscured by the, the lift, and you die, you don't even see that it what killed you. But it really seems like... The dangerous part should be the second part, once you know the timing, because 
When you move Croco Face, the only danger is that the level will push him off. But when you move you, the di you will die if you hit the lava. It really seems like you should be doing the dangerous part second, so you can actually find out the timing before you do the dangerous stuff. Maybe that was an intentional decision. It's not. It's not too bad either way. Just I wasn't sure if that was what was the intent there. This thing is going to give me nightmares. Lots of them. I just wanted to note that this part was freaking awesome. Group hug! Hug the children, Croco Face. He loves you. But, this part is really annoying. For one thing, these elevators could be about ten times faster. And it would be just fine. Secondly, this is... There's a part where you can die a bit right up here. And if you die, you have to go through this mess again. And there's no challenge or anything to this. It's just annoying. Uh, also a bug you probably noticed my first time through when you watched my video. We Making this whole part pointless. And it also ruins a pretty good trap here. If you try and follow Krakow Face onto the button, which I've done twice, by the way, even though I know the spikes are there, yeah, you die. And you can fall through the blue mist there. These little tiny gaps are a bit too finicky. Sometimes if you go over them, you do just fine. Sometimes if you go over them, you do not. Like that. Sometimes the wall catches you and you jump up, and sometimes you fall through. And you really can't predict when that's going to happen. At least not in a simple way, not without trial and error. It, the gap should either be more obvious or they should always be lead to death or something like that. Or they should always be safe to walk on if that's the road you want to choose. Probably just a bug. Croco face. Stay up there. But the way he stutters when he hits the ceiling there is, just makes it awkward to do this. It's mostly a visual thing, but it is sort of an annoyance. Holy crap! I've been through this stage five, no, more than five times. I never noticed there was text here, honestly. I can barely read that. That really should be changed to a darker color. And also, how did Crackle Face get over there? Oh. Now how did I get to that sign. Also, how did Crackle Face get over there? I'll probably never understand dinosaur antics. <laughs> I love that. Uh. So I understand why Crackle Face touching these detonates all of them. You know, because he smashes through them and stuff. But why do I activate them? It's not a big deal, but I just noticed that just playing through this level right now, it just feels odd. More nightmares. But yeah, you probably noticed this thing flips when it gets to the edge, which just doesn't make sense and it causes... it's just awkward. They're supposed to be dogs in these two first trap doors, but I notice sometimes there aren't. In fact, I think they only appeared the first time I played through this. I'm not sure why they don't appear sometimes. Also, again, I hate that thing so much. Fun fact, even though I know this freak is here, I died six times to it just recording this video just now. Also, the dogs still aren't here. I'm not sure why not. Now, this is something I really like. In order to get out of this level, you have to reunite with Crackle Face because he gets stuck. I just thought that was a neat touch. You know, if you want to be cruel, these at least some of these trees could be in the foreground so you can't see while you're trying to jump across on Crackle Face's head. 
Anyway, this this was a source of much, much frustration for me. Getting over here isn't too bad at all. But the thing with the elevators, I, I noted it before. But basically, come on. Now, I get why this one's slow coming up, because you have to get over here. There we go. But this one doesn't need to be slow going down, for one thing. But if we get Crackle Face up here, and let's go up with him, and then you let Crackle Face press the button, Crackle Face is now stuck. And I have to go all the way back around again in order to let him down. And I already did the puzzle, so it's not difficult, it's just frustrating. Awkward. This kid can make a wicked step. Look at that. As I said before, there's no way you would know how to do know how to do that unless you had bumbled into finding the mid jump thingy it there really just should be something that notes that you can do that i noticed at least one person on newgrounds got stuck on this level i think more than one just in the reviews because they got stuck in this level and they couldn't figure out what to do because there's this quote wall here and they didn't realize you could get to that switch by doing what i just did and these enemies their hitboxes are just sort of confusing because of the tail. I'm never quite sure if the tail will kill me or not. I just avoid it completely, which it's not too big of a problem, really. I said before, this is just awkward because you got to... you got to position Crackle Face just right at each step. I've already had to redo this level ten times now, so that's very annoying. But, I don't completely hate it. It makes sense once you know what you're doing. But, initially, you would just not realize that you need to maneuver Crockle Face carefully through that. Maybe you could put a little text balloon from the whiny kid. You'd be like, oh, I have to maneuver Crockle Face carefully through this passage. Oh, well, I really did not mean for that to take two videos, but those are some of the biggest usability issues I saw with the game. I just thought that would be some constructive help, and I do like to anal analyze usability issues like that. I am a human-computer interaction major, and the most frustrating thing of all is that it appears that unless you beat the entire game, this level select does not save your progress, because I just made it up to level 17 or 18. And yeah, it didn't save my progress. And I won't be getting to the last two levels, because I told myself so many times I would never play this game again, and I just went through 80% of it, and it didn't save my progress, so... That's the most frustrating thing. It's a bug, not so much a design issue, but... It is a usability issue all the same. And hopefully you found this this helpful, or if you're not the creator, you found this interesting. But usability is something you always want to take into consideration, and it's, you know, people think it'd be common sense. It really isn't unless you're from the outside looking in. When you're looking at your own project, things just make sense, you know, because you know what's going to happen. But you have to get outside users to tell what the real issues will be. Like, I'm sure when you were playing the game, you knew that you couldn't stand on Crockle Face's tail, but a new user may not know that. And then a new user won't know about the little jumping issue. So I look very much forward to seeing your future games, and hopefully this little critique will help you improve them. Uh, thanks for watching.